Hello guys, how are you? Today we have this uh, six unit metal bridge and uh, first I'm gonna it's shade D2 first I'm gonna apply um, my uh, inside or you can do a patient's body by the way one of my subscribers asked me what kind of modeling liquid i use is this one initial mc and that's the number i don't know if it helps as you can see i already did the um, midline always do midline always always and the directions of the teeth See, I drew the lines. My um, cuspid is up to here and lateral is up to here. So I made these red lines until where my other crowns are going to be. So it's easier for me to tell when I'm building how far to go yeah make sure to always apply uh, apaceous when you have pontix because you need to hide where your metal ends and the porcelain begins um, next i'm gonna hide where my edge of the crown ends i'm gonna apply fd93 but again you can just apply a patient's body there okay so now i'm gonna apply the dentin important thing to remember when you're building a six unit bridge like this is the sizing of the teeth so the easiest way is to calculate this like this so divide it by here right in half and now in here you choose what size is your uh, central tooth and the lateral has to be 30 percent more narrow than the central and then the cuspid is at the widest point is the same width as the central I remember at the widest point so like from here to here not in here <laughs> and that's how you calculate so your teeth look natural in the end all right and also we're gonna have to provide in here the canine guidance always do the lateral movement okay very important a six unit bridge is not only in the mouth for pretty you know it has to do its function so the person has to be able to bite their food with it and the canines are supposed to guide the whole mouth if you are able to provide that then your work will be good and functional and if you're not able to provide that well you know then your work is just cosmetic the problem with the work that's just cosmetic and doesn't provide the function in the mouth is that it makes no sense teeth are given to people to eat and the different teeth are doing the different tasks in the mouth so the most important even when you're making the front work like this is still function and the looks are important too of course everybody wants to have pretty teeth but just because you want to make them pretty doesn't mean you should forget 
why they're there. This is gonna be simple cut back. I'm only gonna scoop out a little bit on mesial and the distal part of the crown, and then divide the tip of the crown in three. Okay, now clear porcelain, I'm going to apply a little bit of my opacious porcelain in between to make, you know, it look like mummy lungs. I use inside for that. If you're not very um, experienced, then don't use inside for that. <laughs> use something less opacious because that can ruin your whole work if you don't apply it correctly and of course it's only for the cases that have uh, four units and up and I mean four units all four fronts not just half okay so that's what it looks like right now Let's do the final shape by applying enamel. Okay. Now I'm done building it, I'm checking if my uh, midline is still in the middle, and it is, my uh, directions are looking correct, and it's time to bake it, I'll see you after bake. Okay, so this is the bridge after bake. I set it on the model with the Pontix and uh, I separated the teeth a little bit. Now I'm going to take this drill bit and um, I will show you how I grind. So first we're going to put the edge in a little bit. edges rolling in then after all the edges rolled in it's time to do the anatomy indents in here and here and then a couple lines over here
this one side and the other. This one to go in, not straight down, but 45 degrees. Then we're gonna grind the line angle. First we're gonna draw them here and the other one here. So we're gonna grind from the face until that line. And also the heights of contour have to all be at the same level. So you see they're different, the line angles came out differently. So you can draw them the way that you want them to be and grind all the extra. that lines should be parallel to each other and just like that you're all done all right this is the case after glaze so this is the texture that we were talking about that's what it looks like after glaze you see it's not very pronounced only under a certain angle you can see it and in certain angle you cannot you see how it is so don't make it deep you know it's supposed to be just just a touch of texture and these lobes I polished because that is what should be smooth the texture is only probably up to a half but usually one third of the crown towards the neck all right so this is the case i try to provide it somewhat the canine guidance in here but it's very hard because it's riding on on that molar <laughs> and uh, here there is canine guidance well, that's it. Give this uh, video a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.